And look at this, a fire burning through an abandoned school in Trenton, Mercer County. And Sky Fox was over the scene as heavy flames and smoke rose from this vacant building. And Ellen, it took firefighters a while to get this under control. That's right, Jason. A lot of firefighters from 17 different fire companies. And here in Trenton, they are still trying to figure out exactly how that fire started. And some neighbors forced out of their homes tonight say they knew something like this was bound to happen. So it's a horrific fire, a horrific damage. It was very scary, very scary. When Alice Ames got the call that the old Trenton Junior High School was on fire, she raced home. And when I pulled up, there were flames flying everywhere and debris. So um, it was like right at my front porch, really large. And I just um, got my son and we took off and parked at the corner. She and other neighbors watched as more than 70 firefighters from 17 different companies battled the flames at the historic school building built back in 1916, but had been abandoned for 20 years. The fire chief says the flames started in the gym and quickly spread, causing the roof to collapse and the falling debris to threaten nearby homes. I was worried because I had to keep running in my back checking to make sure it didn't catch on to my house. John Derrick Smith and his mother worried as the flames crept closer, and even though their house was spared, they believe this fire was an accident waiting to happen. Yes, it could have been avoided. It could have been avoided. I just I feel bad because they should have been done something with that school a long time ago. My heart hurts because I wasn't prepared for nothing like this and only because the city ain't do their job. Other neighbors are out of their homes tonight because of damage and not sure when they will be back. I understand uh, people in the neighborhood are upset and I don't blame them at all. Um, it is an eyesore and it should have been rehabilitated or torn down. Now, the mayor says he's still hopeful that the city can somehow still save this building, but with all that damage, the extensive damage, he's just not sure that that can happen right now. He also says that the city is helping the families that are out of their homes tonight with anything that they need right now. We're live in Trenton, New Jersey. Ellen Cloje, Fox 29 News. Back to you, Jason. Ellen, thank you very much.